this is this is basically going to be the long form version of my shorts that I've created. Anybody that sees those, I don't know if anybody's going to see any of this. I really don't care. I'm just making this to express myself, talk about things that I th think about and care about. And uh, today's subject just happens to be Christianity. And why? Because I hate the route Christianity has been going on lately. You know, like growing up, Christianity was always a fun thing. It was something that I was proud to be when I was a kid. It was something that I was happy about. I enjoyed going to church and going to Sunday school and all that shit. And, you know, it was fun. I made friends and all that shit. And, you know, the churches would run little gatherings and all that. And everything was a fun, good time. There wasn't all this fear mongering. There wasn't all this Jesus is coming back. It's the end of the world. The revelations are coming true. And that seems to be the trajectory that Christianity has taken a lot lately that I just find cultish in a way. I find it weird that the way y'all are trying to, because Christianity is dying out, you can see it. it. It's been a thing that's been happening. When you look at the numbers of things, the number of Christians that there are with the more generations that are coming out are getting less and less because a lot of kids are finding it hard to believe. A lot of kids are in dark times. A lot of kids, you know, for one, don't want to be fear mongered into a religion. You know, that's been my main issue, honestly. You know, I had my doubts. You know, my father died. That fucked me up. And I didn't, you know, I wasn't about Christianity for a minute there because in my eyes, if there was a God, he wouldn't have let something like that happen. But I know that's not the case. I've grown up, matured a little bit since then and realized that everything happens for a reason. But, you know, it's still very, it's, you know, it's it's just weird to me. That the way that churches and that people that are Christians are trying to get everybody to come together is by saying that it's the end times. Is by saying that we're all going to fucking die, pretty much. The rapture is coming and the rest of us that are here that didn't proclaim themselves to Jesus and God are going to burn and are going to have to fight the century-long war against the devil and all that fucking shit. And it's like, that's not... That's not any type of way to get kids to want to join the cause. That is not any type of way to do that. That's a type of way to get kids to fear stepping outside their door, to fear doing anything, to not want to get a job, to not want to work, not want to do shit because they're scared that what what's the fucking point, you know, <laughs> when the end of the world is right around the fucking corner, what are we supposed to do? You know, we can't fight the apocalypse. <laughs> so... And it's why I think it's just such a bad tactic on the church. It's a bad tactic on Christians. Y'all got to stop believing in. And I talked about it in my shorts. And AI, AI has been a huge part in the fear mongering of Christianity. A huge part. And it's because it's AI. It's fucking getting bigger and bigger, better, stronger, more realistic. Like I see AI photos and shit that I look at and I'm like, that could be a real photo. But then you run it through the AI filters and find out it's AI. And that's what a lot of the Christians fall into. A lot of Christians and older people and shit, they keep seeing these pictures and videos of fucking AI shit that looks real. Like that ring in Arizona and Ohio, wherever the fuck that was. That was an AI photo that I saw thousands of Christians believing was a real photo. Believing that was something that actually happened. If that was something that actually happened, tell me, why wasn't it on any news? Why wasn't nobody talking about it? Why was it then when I talked to people actually from the area where they were saying that shit went down, none of them said they saw anything like that? Because it was an AI photo and all of y'all fell for it. Y'all gotta stop. Stop fear mongering. Stop believing every little thing you see on the internet. Like, y'all gotta fucking realize that when the younger generation, when me, a Gen Z, is able to realize that y'all are being fooled, pretty much, it's like y'all gotta grow up. Y'all are letting the devil win. Y'all are letting the devil take control, because the devil controls your fear. God doesn't want you to fear. God wants you to fucking live, be a human, feel all the emotions the devil wants you to fear the devil wants you to do bad the devil wants to fucking take control all that shit so why are we falling into the devil's tactics it just don't make any sense to me why it has to be this way 
and yeah, you know, that's basically just it. I'm not going to make a 10 minute long video about me ranting about why I'm having problems with Christianity because my problem isn't with God. I have a relationship with God. It's not the best relationship, but I don't think there's any such thing as a perfect Christian. And, you know, everybody does things that they shouldn't do. But everybody's got to stop with the fear mongering and everybody's got to stop with the believing everything that they see because it's getting out of hand. It really is. I'm tired of every other day hearing, oh, Jesus is coming. Jesus is on the rise. The end times are around the corner. It's like, what do you think that does to all of our mental healths? Seriously, I don't understand what anybody think that does for your mental health on, on top of that. When you're per personally believing that it's the end of the world and then you're frantic and anxietyed out every fucking day of your life, why do you think that is? It's because you truly believe it's the end times when it's not. There is, yes, there is a lot of bad shit going on, but there's been worse shit going on in all of our history. We could still have slaves right now. We could still be having plagues that are wiping out hundreds of thousands of us. We had COVID, which wiped out a couple thousand of us. It wasn't even anything crazy. It was blown way out of fucking proportion. It's like... We lived <laughs> all this crazy shit. And then everybody's just, you know, and then the whole fear mongering of nothing feels the same after 2020. That's because everybody's growing up. Nothing feels the same because you're getting older. I notice it's a lot of young people that are saying that too. A lot of people that before 2020 were like 15, 16, 17. After 2020, they're in their 20s. That's because you're an adult now. That's why life feels different. That's why things don't feel the same. It's not because we're in some type of alternate fucking reality like you want to believe. No. You're getting older. You're realizing that the world ain't as bright-eyed and bushy-tailed as it, as it used to be when you were a kid. When everything looked real and, and you had big dreams and shit. You know? <laughs> like, god damn. I can go on and on. But I think I'm going to end it here. Um, but yeah. My point is, if you believe in God, believe in God. If you believe it's the end times, believe it's the end times. But I'm just saying it's not healthy. And it's not healthy to try to trick everybody else into fear everybody else into believing that it's the end times. Just to get them to join Christianity or join a cause. It's fucked up. It's not right. It's cult-like. That's some shit cults would do. Tell you that it's going to be the end of the world and you should join us and drink the Kool-Aid. And then off yourself. That's what cults do. And that's what Christianity has been doing here lately. And it's been really fucking weird to me. But thank y'all for listening. Whoever listens to this fucking long ass rant.